mat board cut and our print made. And now we need to get a piece of our MT5 Plus, which is what we're using. It's 24 inches wide. That's what dry mount tissue looks like. We got our dry mount press fired up. So this is the next step. Oops. Okay. So we gotta use our roto trim to cut a piece of this dry mount tissue. And we're gonna eyeball it. And about like so. This is not a precise thing. And put that away. Okay. So now we have a piece of dry mount tissue that's going to cover our photograph. And you see it's a little bit bigger. We're going to trim that down. So now we're going to move into the other room to tack that uh, dry mount tissue to our photograph. So that will be the next step. Okay. Okay, we've got our dry mount tissue here and we've got our print and uh, here's a backing board so we don't burn our table so we turn our print over and we put our dry mount tissue on top of there like so okay <clears throat> the dry mount tissue the only thing that's important here is the dry mount tissue is definitely bigger than the print and you'll see why in a minute so we take our tacking iron that we bought at the hobby shop for 15 bucks and we have it plugged in and warmed up and right in the center we're going to tack the dry mount tissue to the print. And it's not a very precise affair. We're just making about a one and a half inch circle, and that's all there is to it. Okay, now we go back to the cutting board, literally, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, here we are back at the cutting board, the rotor trim. And here's our print with our dry mount tissue attached to the middle. I don't know if you see that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to trim this up. So we start with a short end and slide everything under there, making sure it's all lined up. Make sure you get it under there without. Alright. And it's important to make sure that everything's flat and lined up. And we go right to the edge. Okay, and we give that a cut. And we're cutting off both the print and the the dry mount tissue so everything's the same size. We'll probably do both ends because we're right at 20, what is this? We're right at uh, 19 inches or so, so we're starting to get, so keep it nice and taut and line it up and away we go. Okay, now you can do the long way. Although this will do 24, it's better for smaller. And now you can use the alignment on the end to get a square print. Perfect. You get pretty good at eyeballing it. So this is how you get your dry mount tissue to the same size as your print. So that you don't see dry mount tissue underneath the print. And keep everything nice and tight. Right to the edge. Make sure we're lined up. Perfect. And there we go. So now we have a print with dry mount tissue attached that's exactly the same size. Back to the other room so we can tack it to a board. Okay, so now we have our board that we cut earlier. This is a 12 by 18 print that's going on a 22 by 28 board. And this is where it starts getting, this is a, this is a tedious part. This part takes a lot of precision. Um, <clears throat> we need something heavy. Uh, this is a box of uh, AR-15 ammunition. It's heavy. <laughs> it works. Okay. Well, it's part of living out in the middle of nowhere in the west out here. Um, all right. And so what you want to do is you take your tape measure, special Stanley photographic tape measure that you get down at Walmart for four or five bucks, and you see where you want to put your print. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four. We're gonna go about four and a half on the top, I'm thinking. One, two, three, four, five and a half on the bottom. I like to leave about an inch more on the bottom than on the top. And so we're gonna go four and a half on the top. That's gonna be our measurement there. And then the sides are easy. You just, you know, get them even. 
So one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be a little bit shy, a little bit more. It's like five and a sixteenth on both sides, a little bit less. You eyeball that. Just, you just want it to be even. So and then we want to go four and a half from the top. So we got to go up a little bit. Four and a half. This side. You just keep moving it around. The weight keeps it from blowing around or from you. You know, it gives you a chance to possibly get it in the right place. Four and a half, and you want to be as precise as you possibly can be. Um, believe it or not, if you're off like a sixteenth of an inch on one side or the other, you'll see it. Um, I do. So, all right, that's looking pretty good, and that's looking uh, a little bit this way. There we go. Alright, I'm going to check this again. And always keep checking it, because as you move stuff around, every time you move it, things get... Okay, so we're there. Now we take our tacking iron, that's still plugged in. We hold down on our weight, we lift up our sides, we slip our tacking iron in there, and we kind of make an X. Now, we're not making an X here, we're just going out from the inside. So we're going from here to there, under the print. And we'll do this side. Same thing. All right. We have enough cord. We'll come over here. You can really see what I'm doing now. Just kind of going from the center out. All right. Now three is enough, but I'll do four just to do four. And then, so basically, you tack the dry mount tissue to the print, and now you're print tacking the edges of the dry mount tissue to the board, and that's ready to go in the press. Okay? So we're going back to the other room where the press is. All right, now we're gonna put our print into our press, and this is set at about 205 degrees. And we're gonna have to do this in two stages because our board's so big. So we're gonna come in like so, and do half, and what I do is I put it down like that for about 10 seconds, and I use my wristwatch to measure that time. This is not, I mean, it's sort of precise, kind of not. Plus or minus five, 10 seconds, you're all right. All right, what I'm doing here is if there's any residual um, moisture. Okay, now we're gonna go for a minute. And uh, so I just put the press closed for a minute and uh, we just wait a minute so we don't need to stick around. I'll abbreviate the video. Okay, now we're just going to turn our printer around to the other side. I probably could have gotten the whole thing in there. It don't matter. It's all good. And here we go. And we'll hold it down for 10 seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lift it up a little bit in case there's any moisture in there. And one more minute. And we'll wait a minute and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And it's done. And there you have it. Dry mounted print. And that's all there's to it. I mean, it's ready. It's not coming off of there. It's permanently mounted. MT5 is permanent. You have to destroy it to take it off. And that's cool because that's how the board becomes information for the print. That's what Ansel Adams was on about. That's why he did it that way. I mean, you know, in a museum, an archivist might be able to take that off of there 300 years from now, if it's that famous. <laughs> yeah, we can dream, right? There you go. That's dry mounting a print. We'll mat and frame it in the next videos. That's Ed Bisbody Universe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.